Hey, Dr. Shakib here from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine Posture and Chiropractic Wellness Clinic. Let's talk about some of the cues your body keeps giving you, a dead giveaway that you need to work on a specific area, concentrate on that more than the others. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'm here with Desiree. Desiree is my assistant, and in this case, my model. We're gonna talk about some of the things that happen that are cues that you need to start with something, and that something is going to be transitional segment between your mid-back and lower back, the set transitional segment between your lower back and your pelvis, and your neck positioning. So, in an ideal situation, we have a, what's called a plumb line where everything lines up. Let's make sure we put that blog. I think I did a blog on, on a plumb line or something with mm -hmm. that. So we'll, we'll see if we can put it in the description box. But you've heard of anterior or anterior hip tilt, pelvis tilt. I hear that a lot. Anterior simply means forward. So if you have an anterior tilt like that, that means your butt muscles are weak. When you have a posterior tilt, that means your lower ab is super weak. Either case, your neck is not going to be where it needs to be. So with this positioning, which is a lower ab not doing its job, so your brain's trying to go through the easiest route to support you, which means changing your center of gravity going forward, and you basically live on your anatomy, your neck goes forward. With the other scenario where it's an anterior tilt, you go like that, you're hyperactivating your neck and your mid-back area because otherwise you're going to be falling forward so can you mimic that so i can show like that so she's going to go forward unless things back here and on the neck grab her and bring her back so you get a lot of tension and burning in these areas tension in your neck so these are the cues that you're not in the right position. So where do you start? Well, that's why I do what I do. So where do you start? You start watching the videos I have for free on the YouTube channel. Like simple things like gliding your neck back as you're driving and you're stopped at a red light. There's a video on that. Another thing is the different poses of um, functional movement, which is a playlist on my uh, YouTube channel that you can watch to practice these things. So if you have burning sensation back here, behind your arm, you have tension in your neck, you know that you're having an anterior tilt and that's contributing because the muscles in your back in your lower back are by themselves to try to hold you up. So in an ideal situation, in a normal situation, you're in an upright posture and the front and back are holding you in place. Here, mid back um, and uh, lower chest cavity and here and of course the neck. So the moment this is exactly the moment, so go ahead and let's go do lateral. The moment the lower ab is weak, it can't hold you up, so the center of gravity changes, you go back, and the lower back goes into a, just the lower back, not the pelvis, the lower back goes into it. Excess tension to try to hold you up. You do not do abdominal crunches. We have a video on why I hate abdominal crunches. I think they do more damage than good because it makes you think 
you're doing something about it, but it's not done right. Uh, let's make sure we put a video on how to strengthen your lower abs without doing abdominal crunches. So that, but start watching that, and then we'll do the video that has to do with the segmental clarification, segmental uh, dysfunction mm -hmm. uh, in the description box. I'm trying to let you in and get you into understanding the different cues your body tells you that there's a weakness help. So you need to understand the language that it's communicating with you in order to address the problem better on your own. And these video series, it's over 300 videos here, are designed to uh, enable you to do a lot of things on your own. I hope you're getting value in this. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have any questions, access one of the methods of contact in the description box and don't hesitate to call the office with any questions you have. Take care and thanks for watching.